Okay, so lateral. Put her out towards a little off of center. Medial, a little bit tighter. And now you see how it's created this bubble in the in the groove. This is a classic concave. So if I measure this, you'll see that it's right at about 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. Okay, so how far did I penetrate? So you can see my heat signature on the end here. You see where it's lighter color and then and you'll see that little dark purple blue line. So if I measure that, You'll see that's about a quarter of an inch. So I drove that punch one quarter of an inch in. That leaves me sixteenth, a sixteenth of an inch left on the bottom, right in that little spot. So as with every punch that you drive into a piece of stock, you notice that material gets pulled down with it. You can see the shadows here. Now we can come back and we can smooth this out more flat. This little bulge that we got right here, if you hit that with your hammer, it'll close up your hole. So we don't we address this with a grinder. We don't touch that with the hammer. But we could run this a little flatter. And get a little more of a smooth surface in contact with the foot. So now after this, rather than try to turn over and punch this out, we'll simply take this to the drill press because now we have the hole and we have the material all the way up. You notice it's, it's flush with this surface after we drove it down. So now I should be able to drill that out and I should have a circle all the way around each one of the stud holes that I put in. So whether you have a we have a 5 16 drill bit with a built-in countersink on our drill press. I'm going to take and put a little drop of oil in each one of the holes. Take that down and put a little bevel on that with the countersink. So now as I turn over, see that ridge of material all the way around my hole? But you also have a nice sharp little line. I can come back in and touch that up with the countersink just a little. Not a lot, but this is the side that I'm going to tap from. So I want the countersink there. Same thing on the other side. Little touch. Turn around. Little countersink there. So the important thing now is that I have material all the way around. So when I tap this, my tap can cut all the way through that hole. 